Good morning, Bobcats. It's Friday, May 22nd, and we made it through another week. So give yourselves a round of applause for getting through all of your distance learning another week with your teachers. We're proud of you. Um, let's see. So today I have a few announcements. Uh, first of all, uh, after read aloud today at 11 o'clock, uh, Ms. Verdusco is going to have her coffee and chat, uh, and it will be through Google Meet, and the flyer is online, and Ms. Verdusco shared it through um, Remind, and teachers also shared it, but if you need the login information, here is the website. It's https colon slash slash meet dot google dot com slash a m c dash p b w w dash m p o okay so this is the website that you will use uh, to log into the google me you might need a gmail also on the flyer that we shared there's a phone number in case you would like to call in to join so hopefully we will see you at the meeting today at 11 o'clock okay it's our first virtual coffee and chat with the principal okay the next announcement that i have is monday uh, may 25th is memorial day so there will be no instruction on monday and also the office will be closed on monday Nobody will be at the school site. So if you need to handle any business, uh, the office will be open again on Tuesday, May 26th, the day after, okay? So again, Monday is a holiday. You get a three-day weekend, Bobcats, yay! All right, so now this, uh, this Friday, I always have uh, lots of choices to choose from. My daughters have lots of books. And the book that I'm going to read to you today is a short one. It's called The Ant and the Big Bad Bully Goat. Okay, not a billy goat, but a bully goat. Hmm. And this book actually covers two types of, two types of um, instruction, I would say. So first of all, the book has a few metaphors in it, which are comparisons. And the book also shares a theme at the end most fiction most books do have a theme a, a lesson to learn okay a message that the author is trying to share with you so if you're wondering what a metaphor is here are some examples that my daughter created to share with you here's one um one is you are the sprinkles on my donut so i'm not really a sprinkle right but it's just showing that um, I add sweetness to her life. Okay, here's another one that she made. You are the cherry on my ice cream sundae. So again, she made this for me for Mother's Day and it's showing that I add sweetness to her life. I'll just read a few more examples of metaphor. Okay. You are the pepperoni on my pizza. You are the sauce on my pasta. Okay, so those are just a few examples of metaphor. And this story has a few, it has three examples, okay? So I'll point them out to you as I read, okay? And at the end of the story, the author shares the theme. It's very clear. And the theme is the message of the story, okay? Here we go. The Ant and the Big Bad Bully Goat by Andrew Fusek Peters. Illustrated by Anna Wadham. There's a glare. Okay, here we go. Badger lived in a burrow by the forest. Everything was just so. His milk jug on the shelf, a store of honey in the cupboard, and grain in the kitchen pot. One fine summer's day, he went into the garden to pick cabbages for his soup. 
while he was out, let me see if I can move. While he was out, a huge bad old billy goat crept into the burrow and barred the door. Oh, that wasn't nice. Badger came back to see his door shut tight. He knocked politely. Billy Goat answered through the window. Your house is all mine now. It serves you right for leaving it unlocked. Badger was angry, but the goat was bigger and better than him. Uh oh, Badger's scared. So, off he went to see the old, oops, let me move this way, to see the old bull down the lane who was feared by all the animals in the village. Help me, bull! Billy Goat has stolen my burrow! You mean Billy Goat with twisty horns as sharp as swords? See, there's one of the metaphors. Actually, I believe that might be a simile because it uses the word as. The bull shivered in fear. Yes, that's the one, said Badger. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, replied Bull, but I'm in a bit of a rush. The farmer has told me to eat all the grass in this field by sundown. I wish I could be of more help. Why don't you go and ask Boar? Oh, no. Okay, so Badger seems to be on his own, right? On the way past his burrow, Badger heard the goat tip over his milk jug and slurp up all his milk. Oh, how sad. Okay. Badger stomped off to see Boar. Let's see, he was huge and fierce with tusks as sharp as crescent moons. So there's another one of those metaphors simile as well too because it uses the word as the tusk is being compared to crescent moons which means they're curved and rounded help me boar old billy goat has stolen my home you mean that creature with cloven hooves that stamp and squash whimpered the shaking boar yes that's the one said badger i'm terribly sorry but I'm on a very important job right now, guarding the forest against trespassers, he grunted loudly and charged around to show how big and scary he was. I wish I could be of more help. Why don't you go and ask Bear? Do you think Bear will help? I mean, they're big animals, right? They should be able to help little Badger. Let's see. On the way past his burrow, Badger heard Billy Goat smash a jug and lick up all his honey. Oh no, Billy Goat is a bully goat, isn't he? Badger stomped off to see Bear in her cave. She towered over Badger. The claws in her paws could cut a tree in half. Help me, Bear! Old Billy Goat has stolen my home! The ground rumbled as she answered. You mean the goat that pushes down walls with a head as hard as stone? There's another metaphor, simile. Well, Yes, that's the one, said Badger. Oh, well, you see, I have a lot of jobs to do before winter, gathering nuts and berries before my long sleep. So I can't help you right now. I'm terribly sorry. Oh, Bear can't help either. And Bear's a big animal. Hmm. Badger wandered off and began to cry. 
It was hopeless. Across his path, there crawled a little ant. What's the matter, Badger? Badger stopped and studied the bug in the dust. He's really, here he is. Can you see him? He's really tiny. Nothing you can help me with, little ant. Well, why don't you tell me about it and we'll see, suggested ant. Badger told him the whole story and ant came up with a brilliant idea. But, my dear ant, are you quite sure it will work? asked Badger. We can only try, said ant. Badger nodded and off they set. Look at how tiny Ant is. Do you think that Ant will be able to go up against the big bad bully goat? Mm. Let's see. As they approached the burrow, Badger hid behind a tree. Goat had smashed open the grain pot and was busy stuffing himself. Ant crawled up the door and through the keyhole. Let's see what happens. He climbed onto the table and shouted as loud as he could. How dare you make such a mess of Badger's house? Leave right now and I will not harm you. Go look around unable to see where the voice was coming from. Where is Ant? He's right there, little tiny. He finally spied the little ant and burst out laughing. <laughs> Listen, little fellow, you're a bit out of your depth here. Don't you know that I am the big, bad bully goat with sharp, twisty horns, cloven hooves, and a head as hard as stone? Prepare to meet your end. <laughs> Just Wait a second, replied Ant bravely. My words are sharp enough to finish you off, you greedy brute. Oh, yes? Prove it, growled Goat. Lean closer, shouted Ant, and feel the sting of my insults. Billy Goat leaned closer, and at that moment, and stung him right on the nose. You see, goat, size isn't everything, cried Ant, leaping up and down in delight. So you can see goat got stung by the ad. Look at his nose, it's red and it hurts. As for Billy Goat, well, he screamed, and his nose swelled up so much, he couldn't see a thing. He blundered around the room, squeezed through the window, and fled, howling into the night. The little ant was able to make the goat disappear, run away. Get ready for the theme, the message. <clears throat> Badger ran out from his hiding place to thank Ant with all his heart. He saw, here's the, listen carefully, he saw that good things sometimes come in small packages. Ant and Badger became the best of friends and lived together in the burrow for the rest of their days. All right. So that's the end of the ant and the big bad bully goat.
So the message was that sometimes come in small packages and also it doesn't matter what your size is, you can still help, right? Okay, so this is a fun book. I hope you enjoyed it. It had elements of metaphor and simile and also theme. So I hope you learned some of those terms as well because those are things that you study in your classes. All right, Bobcats. So thank you for all of those Bobcats who joined in. I see Ms. Ramirez, Claudia Soto Moreno, uh, Ms. Bree and Jonathan, Alexis Mendez, Ms. Elizabeth uh, Morales, Ms. Avanza, good morning. Ms. Graciela Orduno, good morning. Ms. Olga Savalsa, <laughs> to Ms. Savalsas. Felix Raimundes, good morning. Um, I see some comments. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the story. Remember to uh, log in to your Google Meet uh, so we can do a coffee with the principal uh, in just a little while at 11 o'clock. Enjoy your long weekend, Bobcat. Remember, three days, no school Monday, and we'll see you again on Tuesday. Okay, bye-bye, Bobcats. Take care.